Hello and welcome to Blocks Master. My name is Elder and this is my second video of the day because I have already got about five or six requests. Well, it, it sends me to sleep. I'm not going to sleep anytime soon. Five or six requests about the effect we have on new Blocks 5 website. This is not hover effect because you can see it does not change when we hover the mouse, but it is scroll effect. And honestly, I don't know how the developer did this. Well, I know how he, do, he did that. It's a new feature of Blocks 5. But for this uh, color coming in, going dark again, for this, I don't know how he did it, but I have a theory which I want to test. And I will actually do that live in this video. I haven't tried it yet, but I did something similar in one of my test projects before. So maybe this will work out. So let's take this one and add a block in between. And there are a few ways to do that, of course. Well, for now, so it is easier for you to see. I will switch back to white. My theory is that he is using the scroll effects fade in, fade, fade out. I'm sure he is because this is great future of blocks. But yeah, let me try if this works. I will create some kind of card. I will make it very, very simple and not as beautiful as the developer has on his website. But I will be using div. This will be card, whatever effect, the main class for the actual card. Here I will set the size for width, it will be 100%. For height, let's make it 400. And then I think that for this one, well, I will only switch the position to relative. So everything which happens inside will be always relate to this div container. So and now let's go to layer three and inside this one div I will place I will place two things. I will place an icon because I believe the developer has some icons, text. I mean you can place wherever you want, but I will test this the icon. So let's place some icon there. And for the icon, let's make it something cool. For example, this one, big. And I think now we can switch to the darker color so we can see it. Okay, so we have div container. Inside div container, we have one div. And inside this div, we have icon. What I want to do, I want to set the icon to be white. The color of the icon is not changing, it will be white. But now, instead of just uh, one icon inside the container, I will duplicate this. We will have two icons, but I don't need the first one, so I will delete the first one. So we just have two div containers inside the one div container here. First of all, I will take this div container and I will add the um, card. This, this will be the normal state, so let's say card normal. The names of the car of the classes is up to you. You can name it whatever you want. And let's write 100%. And this will be 100% of the div container, which has the relative positioning. For the width as well, 100%. I will, of course, enable flex because I want it to, to be in the center, for example. But of course, it's not that important. What is important is to give this some kind of design. So I will take this uh, class, the normal, and I will add some border. Let's make this something, something barely visible, something like, something like lead, for example. Why not? Let's add the 28 pixels of the of the radius for corners and another thing I want to add is gradient to make this kind of 3d effect 128 or whatever 145 for example whatever works for you 
and here I'm going to have, well, let's make it super, super simple, white to white. But what we will do, we will have the opacity set to very, very minimal. So it will be, let's say, 0 0.1 to 2, something like that. So this is good for our main card. We can go even darker if we want. We can make it barely visible at all. This is not the point of the video. Now what we want to do is we want to go to the positioning, change the position to absolute, and and for now, we can actually, well, for now this this is actually all we need to do. I will save this so we have this class card normal. I will go to the class manager and I will duplicate the class duplicate it and the second one will be hard color for example I hope this works <laughs> I'm sure it will but yeah this is the first time I'm trying this so card normal was add to the icon the, to the div container which has icon inside icon itself is it doesn't have any class now we will take this second div container which is right now on top of this one and we will add this class card color and as you can see because they are using the absolute position it is actually located exactly at the same place and the sizes is, are also the same everything is the same so now we can change to the look we actually want to have when it is scrolling so for example let's say that we want to have well uh, more visible borders it's not obviously not the point of the video but let's say we want that but most importantly we want to have different color for gradient effect and here we can use for example well let's make something universal maybe blocks colors or blocks master colors something like that so this will look much better okay now this is what we want to see but of course we don't want to see this and if we hide the if we hide this you can see that the second div kind of acts as a layer which will make this card beautiful so we will enable it and we will go to scroll effects and just enable the fade in and fade out and that's it actually that's all you need to do so let's go to preview and see how this looks you can see we start as the normal card and then it comes to life and we scroll it will go away so very simple and first when you look at this it's like wow it's it really requires a lot of coding whatever no all of that all these effects all of the like this is regular scroll effect the sliding for example of course the developer is just has an amazing imagination to come up with something like this using such a simple tool but yeah this is a great great cool effect and as you can see now we have one here as well so if we want we can duplicate it duplicate it yeah let's duplicate it it's depending on top and let's say that the second card we want to have some different color okay all we need to do is just duplicate this color copy to and we will replace the color this copy to and let's make it different color like that don't know if it is a good combination or not but you get the idea and now when we scroll this one comes to life this is go away and as you can see they are quite cool and we can change the speed as well now in blocks 5 as you can see we have delay and resistance I will cover everything in detail in my blocks 5 course but basically if you for example have some negative margin here negative delay it will make this come faster you can see it is already coming to life when we are very low 
and for resistance it will stay longer on the screen if you have higher resistance here but like i said this is for another tutorial so this is how you create cool things like that cool effects like that a lot of work a lot of work to do this one but there are many ways you cannot just use the uh, gradient background you can also use image background as well which will be probably much simpler but yeah in any case the, the this is the technique you can use to quickly create something like this today in your blocks project